Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to another episode of Soul Food. Imam Shorba was on one of the famous Imams of Qiraat. On his deathbed, his sister was very sad and she was crying for she was gonna lose her brother. He told her, don't worry. And he looked at one corner of the house and he said, I have finished the recitation of the Quran completely from cover to cover 18,000 times. Imam Shorba had a lot of hope because he read and he understood the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he says, Iqra'u al-Qur'an, read the Qur'an for the Qur'an will be an intercessor on behalf of its reader on the day of judgment. The relationship between Qur'an and Ramadan is very intimate, it's inseparable. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, شَهْرُ رَمَضَانَ الَّذِي أُنزِلَ فِيهِ الْقُرْآنُ هُدًى لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيْنَاتٍ مِّنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَانِ The month of Ramadan, which Qur'an was revealed in. هُدًى لِلنَّاسِ There is guidance in the people in this Qur'an. هُدًى لِلنَّاسِ وَبَيْنَاتٍ And clear signs and proofs for the people. وَالْفُرْقَانِ It's a criterion between right and wrong. This is the perfect season for us to look at our own relationship with the Qur'an. Unfortunately, many of the people don't have the best of relationships with the Qur'an. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in a verse in the Qur'an, complains to Allah azza wa jal, O oh Allah, my people have abandoned the Qur'an. And Imam ibn Qayyim rahimahullah explains that there are different levels for abandoning the Qur'an. The least of which is abandoning its recitation. The sad reality is that today it's not even about not reciting the Qur'an. Unfortunately, a lot of Muslims don't even know how to read the Qur'an, let alone reciting the Qur'an, let alone understanding the Qur'an, let alone acting according to the Qur'an. Yet at the same time, we find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has says in the Qur'an, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ And we have made this Qur'an easy to remember. So will there be one to remember? So what is our role? What is our duty towards the Qur'an? Number one, we must learn the Qur'an. We must realize and recognize that the Qur'an is the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal. And we must be able to recite it in order to fill the void in our hearts and our souls. This is number one. Number two, we must act in accordance with the Qur'an. We want the Qur'an on the Day of Judgment to be a witness for us, not against us. So whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to do something, let us do it. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to stay away from something, let us stay away from it. And thirdly, we must spread Qur'an literacy amongst ourselves, among our, our parents, our friends, our communities, amongst humanity so that everybody is able to read the fruit of the Qur'an. Look at the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where he encourages to read the Qur'an. He says, read the Qur'an for the Qur'an will be an intercessor for somebody who reads it on the day of judgment. Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in another narration says, read the Qur'an for every letter that you read in the Qur'an, you will get an ajr. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that each ajr is multiplied 10 times. And he says, not alif, me, alif la meem is a harf. No, he says alif is a harf, lam is a harf, and meem is a harf. This should encourage us to recite the Quran often. And look at what the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says. He says the person who reads the Quran fluently, he will be in the company of the angels. And the person who reads the Quran while struggling in it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him two rewards. One reward for reciting and another reward for trying and for keeping up with the struggle. Ramadan is a perfect time for us to go back to the Quran and to make this commitment that we will read the Quran, we will memorize the Quran, we will understand the Quran and we will act upon the Quran. I leave you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's verse where he says, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرُنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِن مُدَّكِرُ and we have made the Qur'an easy to remember, so will there be one to remember? Make this commitment, make this commitment and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make you amongst the people of the Qur'an. Make the commitment, dedicate a certain time, get a Qur'an teacher, enroll in a tafsir, halaqa, and be with the people of the Qur'an, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it easy for you to learn, read, and apply the Qur'an. 
Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode of Soul Food. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.